Hi everyone. Right, I just want to show you, uh, sorry, that's another flower I've just done. <laughs> hope you can see that. Um, I will come back and show you how to do that particular one. It is quite nice, it just needs a pearl in the middle. Um, but it's hand sewn. Um, right, I just want to show you this. Now, I know a lot of you, since I've been doing the embroidery, has written to me and said, oh, you'd like to try it, blah, 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 what type of ring to use and, what, and things like that. Well, um, I've got this now. It's um, it's called, for embroidery, Cruel and Counted Thread Projects. And it's easy to assemble. The instruction, instructions are enclosed. Leaves your hands free to work your canvas. And it's really of high quality wood, polished wood. And it's called a seat frame. So it's made in the United Kingdom. And it's 10 inch wide. So this is... I'll just show you the ring itself is 10 inches wide this is I'm going to show you in a minute um, but it's brilliant because I can now have both hands free because even when I was using the square um, you know it wasn't on a stand was it was it no it wasn't on a stand um, and so it's really hard to use both hands. I know I've got the ring on the two legs, but they get, you know, kept getting in the way. So I needed something that was more or less hands free. And I found this on eBay. Um, and I'm just going to pull up the information. Well, I've got it because I've got the other things to show you. Um, now, I did pay... 20, it's £19.50 with £3 postage. But I have to say, it's worth investing in something like this. So, K, that's Kazikin's one. Um, you're, you said you'd love to do this sort of thing. And honest to God, darling, this is your better buy. Um, you can put... Um, I can put the square frame on it if I want to. You can put any frame on it. And I'm just going to show you mine now. And you can use smaller ones as well. Um that oh sorry let me just take that down a bit that's mine and like i said it is a 10 inch frame now you've got this arm here that moves about so you would have to fix on somehow on your ordinary rings like if i wanted to use the uh, smaller one you know i'd have to take this off and fix it onto that but if i were you I mean, if Hilby's any good at making things, then I would definitely get him to make you something. Uh, just a piece of wood. like a, You need it like a pincer to slip onto your ring. Um, then you can, you know, I think it's in... Yeah, it's like that. It's pinned in there. But you could get your screws in and tie them in really tight so they're flat and the outer ring can go over it. Um, and you can actually make this for any size. It does, like I say, it unscrews at the bottom there, so you can have it anywhere you want, if you want to work from that angle. I mean, I would have to, my desk isn't solid, it's not flat, because I've got something there. But um, you need it balanced properly. Now I could work like that. So that would be great. Sorry, I hope you can see this. See? Um, really, there's no need. To have it like that is fine, and that will leave you... Um, with your hands free now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn that around because you could have it like that you know and work like that it doesn't matter but I'm just going to it's this leg I'm going to turn around this is the part I want to turn so that's out the way and then bring that around here and this arm here can be to the, to the side and I'm not banging it when I put my hands under uh, and that's perfect for me brilliant i can sit here now and i can work to my heart's content i do love it and i think it's an for the price you know 20 pound um yeah it's a good buy so that's that um and like i say you can get it on ebay and it's called the i think it's uh, lbc lbc versatile seat embroidery just type in seat embroidery hoop or stand and it will come up I'll put the, all the details in the description the other thing I want to show you is this this is original scumble clear acrylic glaze and it's for use with universal acrylic colorant but you can use it for anything okay now reason why I bought this two reasons one because of the price 
and two is because you're getting far much more for your money than you are for the ordinary glazes now um if i wanted to well i did buy a glaze and i have to say it was the claudine helmuth one and it is extremely expensive for me um and for what you get it's not a big tub now let me find mine i paid about well it was eight nine ninety nine for the claudine helmuth um and it is to me that's expensive for the amount you get this however you're getting 500 mil so it's one us pint of acrylic clear acrylic now you know you can put this on anything uh, to give it a nice sheen um, or the look of glass or something like that so you know if you've got a bottle cap put your picture in pour a little bit of this in leave it to set um, paint it on I, I would just paint it on I wouldn't even waste putting that much in I would just paint it on and let it go clear um, it's, it's just very similar to you know glossy accents and things like that you do not need a small bottle that you're paying eight pound for this eight pound a bottle you really don't need to do that because with this it does the same that's not a glue but it is a clear acrylic glaze and we use this for acrylic glaze don't we to glaze things so i mean look at the difference this was 11 pound um and this was just for two fluid ounces eight pound for that so i would go and get something like that okay I just thought I'll share that with you. Because it's great, you know, look about it. It's like um, a lot of people don't know. Right? They keep buying these, um, oh, what do you call them? Uh, templates. Uh, I don't know, put cog template in for cars. Or whatever you want to do. Um, shooting flames. Template for cars and see what comes up. You'll be surprised. Think outside the box in everything, and you will save money and you will get different things that you can't get. In, you know, in these companies are not making everything. There are other designs out there, um, and shop about because that's the only way to get what you want. And you do save a lot of money if you think outside the box. Um, and think of who else would have something like that. You can go to your hardware store and pick up some templates there. Right. Now, I will come back and show you this one. It is quite easy. In fact, well, I've got a piece. Look, all you do, you've got your ribbon. Fold. Well, you don't fold it over like that. Fold it over like that so it's not straight. You move it halfway. Fold that in. Fold that in again fold that in and then what you start and do is you bend that over oh sorry you bend that over to that see so i've done a like a um diagonal oh god come on fee then you bend that over now you can pin that if you want pin that and then pin that over then bend it over and stitch to there and then when you get to the end of that then you do the same thing again there. So you're making the material meet. So this will be stitched. You bend it over when you've pinned it and you stitch that again and you go all the way. You need a yard, a yard of that. And when you've done that, gather it up and then slowly but surely stitch it all together into a flower and you get that diamond shaped flower. And that's how you do that one. But uh, I will, of course, come back and do the uh, tutorial it's just a case of you end up with your material meeting like that. Right, and then you pin it and stitch it. And then you, when you've got to the end of that, you will turn the material over again to that, pin it and stitch it. It's as simple as that. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. And don't forget, I'll be back with the ballerina. Not long now. Bye-bye.